Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to swap out views and different themes per platform. Now, this is actually a really awesome feature that's been integrated for a little while, but not a lot of people use it. Let me go ahead and give you an example. So I've already set up my hotkeys and I'll show you how to do that in a second, but we'll go into my arcade section here and we're on the new default theme. As you can see, the view I'm using here is cover flow with details. We've got the cover flow near the bottom. We've got the details at the top and I've set up my hotkey here to swap out my views per platform. I've set mine up on my keyboard. You can also do this with controller automation, but now directly from the platform, we can swap out this view. So now we're using vertical view number one. So the way it's set up right now, I've just swapped out all of these to vertical view number one, but we can actually set this up to go separately for each platform, and we can actually change the theme per platform. So if you're interested in doing this, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First things first, we need to enable a few things and set up some hotkeys. So we're going to head over to our system menu. You can do that by pressing escape while you're in big box. We're going to go to options and the first thing we really want to do here is head down to views and we want to remember separate views for each platform. Now this is if you want separate views for each platform throughout your big box setup. Now you can always leave this off and once you change that view, it's going to be unified across each platform. But personally, I kind of like switching it up with each platform just to make it a little different when I go in. So I turn this on, remember separate view for each platform. We're going to go back to the system menu and now we need to set up some hotkeys to change the view and we're also going to set up a hotkey to change our theme. Back to options. We're going to go all the way down here. Now you can set this up on your controller. So if we go to controller mappings, if you want to set this hotkey up for your controller, we can scroll down and find switch view. And we also have switch theme. So from here, you can set your hotkey up on your controller but I'm actually going to go with my keyboard. So I'm going to go to keyboard mappings and we're going to find that same section, switch view and switch theme. Obviously I set this to a different key on my keyboard. That's not being used in anything else right now. Switch view for me is set up for Q switch theme is set up for W. So we've got that ready to go. We've also told big box to remember each separate view per platform. So again, we're going to head to arcade. So for my arcade section, we're still on cover flow with details. I'm going to back up Nintendo 3DS, same thing, but now I can press my hotkey and I'm going to set this up for full screen cover flow. I'm going to back up again. We'll do N64 and change this to a totally different view. Let's go vertical wheel two. And now, my arcade section is that cover flow with details. 3DS, full screen cover flow. N64, vertical wheel 2. And you can do this down the list. So for NES, we'll set this up as horizontal wheel 1. And now I've got a different view for each one of these platforms. And uh, it just kind of really switches things up. And like I mentioned, we're using the new default theme here. I personally really like this, but you might want to swap out the theme per platform. And it's actually simple to do. We've already set up our hotkey to switch theme. If you need more themes, you can head back to the system menu, manage themes. You can always manually install these from the forum if you want to, or you can go through and get the latest updated themes. So we've got a lot to choose from here. I've already got six installed. That should be enough here for uh, the demo. We're going to head back to our platforms menu and we're still using the default theme. And if I change this theme here on the platform section, it's going to unify everything and go through and change each one of these. But what I like to do is change each platform theme. So for arcade, I'm going to press the hotkey I set up to change theme. We're going to go with pyramids from rinse wind. And yeah, I really do like this theme. And again, with this theme here set for this platform, we can also change the view. You can totally mix it up if you want to. But we're going to head back to our platforms. As you can see, my platform section is still default. We'll go to Nintendo 3DS, still on the default. Press my hotkey. 
Let's go with uh, Colorful Light by Viking. One of my favorite themes. And we'll change N64 to Banner Box by Farron. So now, you can see that my platforms is set to default. My arcade is the Pyramids theme by Rincewen. My Nintendo 3DS theme is set to Colorful Light by Viking. And my N64 theme is set to Banner Box by Farron. And uh, we'll just go in here. We'll just go with text list with details instead of horizontal wheel. And it just makes for a really cool customization with Big Box. It's very easy to do to swap out those themes and views per platform. All you need to do is set up some hotkeys and tell Big Box to remember each view per platform from the options menu. And it definitely adds a lot to Big Box. You can totally customize everything here now. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. We really appreciate you watching and using LaunchBox. Definitely stay tuned to the channel and the forum because we've got a lot of great stuff on the way. And like always, thanks for watching.